咖啡呢？It's your girl Jay, and today I am here with my February most anticipated releases for 2020. I have a total of five books that I picked out. I tried to pick the less popular books because nobody wants to hear about the same five books over and over again. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first book that I have is one of the very popular books, but it is the finale of one of my favorite series, so I couldn't not include it on my list. It is King of Crows by Libba Bray. This is the fourth and final book in the Diviners series, and it is to be released on February 4th, 2020. I'm not going to give a synopsis of it because that'll spoil the rest of the series, so all I'm going to say is that it's a heck of a great series and it's just so atmospheric and well-written and I love the characters, so I'm very excited to see how the story ends. The next book that I have on my list is called The Other Miss by Mary Kupika and this comes out February 18th, 2020. So this follows, this follows a married couple named Sadie and Will Faust who just moved to a small town in Maine. A little while after they've been there, their neighbor Morgan Baines is found dead in her home. The town quickly starts to blame the newcomers and Sadie wants to clear her family's name so she begins an investigation of her own but the more that she uncovers about Miss Baines, the more in danger she becomes. I'm a fan of Mary Kubica's writing. I usually give it a 3.5 or higher, so I'm very excited for a new book by her. I just love her writing, so... That's why I included it on this list. The next book I have on my list is called Follow Me by Kathleen Barber, and this comes out February 25th, 2020. The tagline for this book is what really caught my attention. It's... Everybody wants new followers until they follow you home, and I just thought that it sounded really creepy. It follows a girl named Audrey Miller who has always had a big following on social media. She starts a new job at the Smithsonian, and that causes her to have to move to a new city. When she gets there, this catches the attention of one of her followers who have been following her since the very beginning on social media, and he decides that he is going to make Audrey his and his alone. So he turns to the dark web to find some advice on how to make her his, and it's like the story of that. I think it sounds super creepy. I love stalker stories, which sounds so weird, but I'm just a big fan of them. I don't know why. So definitely intrigued by this one, definitely excited to see where it goes. The next book that I have on my list, I actually have an art copy of it, so thank you so much to the publisher for sending it my way, but it is The Stars We Steal by Alexa Dawn, and this follows 18-year-old Princess Leo, who is the heir to a European spaceship, and she is expected to marry soon. The only qualification Leo really is concerned about for her new husband is that he needs to be wealthy enough to save her family from financial ruin, and that's when Elliot, her childhood best friend, who her family deemed unworthy worthy of her hand many years ago is back. He's now a successful captain of a whiskey ship and she thinks that this is her time to win him back and fall in love. But he has other plans. He is determined to make her life miserable. And it's like the story of that. So it's like friends to enemies to lovers in space. I'm here for it. I think it sounds like a lot of fun so I'm definitely excited to pick this one up. And this is releasing February 4th, 2020. I forgot to mention that earlier but now you know. And then the final book that I have on my list is another one that I actually got an arc of so thank you so much to the publisher yet again. It is The Last Confession of Autumn Casterly and this is by Meredith Tate. This is to be released February 11th, 2020. This follows sisters Ivy and Autumn who are complete opposites. Ivy is very nerdy and quiet. Autumn is very outgoing and adventurous. A drug deal goes wrong and Autumn is bound, beaten, and held hostage in a warehouse. She's very close to death and that's when she leaves her body in order to seek help. The only person who is able to sense her is her sister Ivy and she follows the clues that are left to find Autumn and she's quickly discovering some things that Autumn has been hiding from everyone and it's like the story of that. I think it sounds pretty cool. Again, I like kidnapping stories, which apparently I just like the really messed up stories like stalking and kidnapping, but I find them entertaining. Don't want them to happen in real life, but in books it's okay because it's not real. I just think that it sounds like a cool story. I'm very interested to see if Ivy is able to find her sister and what Autumn is hiding from everybody. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun, so I'm here for it. Alright everybody, so that was my most anticipated releases for February 2020. Let me know 
down below a couple of books that you're excited for, and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!